I'm pretty sure by the time most of you watch this video, this drone is going to be sold out, but it is absolutely incredible. So we're going to check it out, and I can't wait to show you. This thing has blown my mind. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, I can already hear what you guys are saying. Stuart, another best drone video. You guys drone on and about it, and you know what? In the past, look, I have done best flying videos, or this is the best drone I've ever flown in terms of performance, or best value for money. This bad boy right here, this is the Fury B X215, by the way, and I'm pretty sure this thing is going to be sold out by the time you guys watch this video, but... This bad boy has totally blown me away. Like, I went out, usually what I do, I film in the studio, we film the intro, I go out, I fly it around, and then I sort of do my reactions at the end of the video. This bad boy has made me come back and film the intro scene because I have never had a drone that is this cheap that performs this well. So what we're going to do in this video, this is the part two review. If you haven't seen part one, go and watch this video up there. And congratulations if you bought this bad boy in part one for like 150 bucks or whatever it is. Well done because you guys are going to absolutely love it. We're going to take this thing out to the field. I'm going to show you guys why I'm so excited. We'll hand it over to Grumpy Trev. We'll hit it with Speed Gun Sally. And you guys are going to see why hands down value for money. Look, if you agree with me after watching this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you disagree, drop a comment down below and hit the thumbs down button. But for 150 bucks, this thing is absolutely incredible, and I've never, and I mean never, out of any, any single drone I've flown, I've never been able to pick up a drone so cheap that flies so well and take it out and rip it around. This is definitely, you know, I, I don't think I can praise this thing anymore. It really reminds me of like the old wizard back in 2016 that came in super cheap and was fantastic performance. I'd say this time for 2017, this thing is absolutely killing it. Anyway, enough rambling. You guys can tell I'm excited. Let's jump out of the field, rip it around. I'm going to show you some HD footage and I will talk about it a little bit more because you guys are going to love it. All right. Let's do it in three, two, one. Boop. Rodeo out here in the field. Uh, pretty excited because it's a really calm day. We've had some terrible weather lately, but finally we're going to rip it around with the Fury B X215. Now I have switched out the different props because, look, I'll show you some other flight footage. These props aren't as good. I've got Cyclones on here. These ones are broken, but I will pick that up. But what we're going to do, I'm going to show you some HD footage, rip this thing around. We'll hand it over to Grumpy Trev, and then most importantly, we'll get it over. We'll hit it with Speed Gun Sally and see just how fast we can get this thing and, you know, how Crash Test Cal goes with it. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. Alrighty, so here we are about to race Crash Test Cow's Chameleon. He's in front of me there and there's two points I want to talk about before we jump into the nitty gritty about the quads performance. Number one, I kind of struggled about trying to choose what footage I wanted to show you guys. So uh, I thought it might, usually you know you try to pick your quickest laps and all those sorts of things and I thought you know what, it might be interesting to show you what this thing was sort of like first time out here at the field trying to fly around on a new track and the second thing, that's why I get a bit lost in a moment as well trying to follow the track around. And the second thing, everybody who watches my video knows I fly with the Turnigy Evolution. This bad boy was set up to fly with the Tyrannus, and it really feels very, very different trying to fly with a different radio. And I know any seasoned pilots could definitely attest to that. But uh, this is how good this thing was, brand new on a brand new track with a brand new radio. So you can see, I think I'm getting a little bit lost here. But uh, we get on back with the track soon, and this thing absolutely rips. I mean, for the 150 bucks with the coupon, I have never seen a quad perform like this. So it was extremely stable in the air. It had plenty of poke. Once I put the cyclone props on there, and look, we will show you some other footage with the other props at the end. I'll put that at the very end of the video. But with the cyclone props on here, these motor, this motor combination, it was very, very rigid in the air. It felt fantastic to fly. It was doing exactly what I wanted to do. And I mean, look at the speed of this thing, hitting through some gates. This thing is an absolute rocket. It was so smooth, so stable, and I'm absolutely in love. And I think for anybody wanting to get into the hobby, this is a this is like the easiest choice you have ever had to be picking up a drone. And for even people out there who have a bunch of drones, like I love this thing, and I've got some of the best drones in the world. I mean, I've got Talons, Rampages, Chameleons, and uh, this thing was a blast to fly. Like I, I want to put this out there that I had all my other quads on the bag and. I flew this thing for most of the day. I didn't even touch my talon, my chameleon, when I was flying around, which is absolutely ridiculous. When you look at the price difference between this drone and the other ones, this thing is absolutely incredible. Now, something I find pretty funny just here, I spend all this time trying to hit this gate, and then I just miss the next one. But yeah, anyone who wants to get into the hobby, this drone is an absolute steal, and even seasoned pilots out there who just want it, not even a backup racer, just like another awesome drone, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, what we should do, well, let's hand it over to Grumpy Trev because uh, we'll get his reactions and then we'll give it over to Crash Test Cal and see just how fast we can make this thing go. <laughs> 
All right, that was actually pretty amazing for the money. I mean, that flew ridiculously well, but what we're gonna do, let's hand it over to Grumpy Trev and see what uh, the Grumpy Bugger thinks. All right, GT, what do you reckon of the Fury B X215? I put some different props on there because yeah. I smashed the other ones. Well, the props that come on it were pretty crap. She said, it looks all right. I just can't believe that this thing's 150 bucks. And I watched you fly it and I can't believe it went that well. Suppose I'll give it a go and see if I can break it. It looks strong, look at that. It's so stiff. What do you think about the design? Oh, look, it's pretty cool. Uh, nice protection for the camera, which you don't see in a lot these days. It's even got little lights in the back and a buzzer. Look at that. So when old people like you crash, you can find it. Yeah, when you get stuck in trees and but <laughs> this is a first though because for a while because I actually get to fly something that you didn't break. Get out. All right, let's fly this thing. On the Tyrannus. Oh, you're on my channel? Yep. Hang on, we're holding hands, Trevor. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you watch Trevor crash this straight into a tree. Crash oh, it. This should, like be, that. Yeah. this should be crash test Cal's job. Here we go. Oh, gee. It is responsive. It does feel nice, doesn't it? This is uh, 150 bucks. I, I, I can't believe it. When I first started in this game, uh, I bought motors that cost me more than this. Well, my first quad was a blackout, and the motors were $50 US. So you're getting a whole quad for what I used to pay for motors. And how does it perform versus that oh, first quad? Oh, it craps all over it. It is not bad. It's got plenty of punch, really good uh, good camera, good OSD. Like there's no vibrations or anything. This is out of the box. This is not bad. I'm a bit gobsmacked with this. For $150, this is really a good starter and even a good second quad. Oh, I just can't get over the price. What's the camera like, Trent? The camera's brilliant. I'm surprised how good this is. For value for money, this is really good. It's not crap. This is just, oh, just, I don't, oh. You don't very often hear me speechless, I tell you. I'm having a ball. What about, okay, give this a grumpy Trev rating out of 10 for performance. Hang on. Jeez, <laughs> oh, you asked me that at the wrong time. Hang on. <laughs> okay. I just did a couple of trees here, just come back so I can get, uh, hang on, I just want to find my bearings. Where the friggin' hell am I now? Look, value for money. This thing has got to be absolute 10. No ifs or buts. What about performance wise? Oh, performance, look, I'd have to give it an eight and a half for performance. Mm -hmm. That was just shit off the fly. Getting all these really good quads lately and it's really hard to... I'd expected this to be crap and it was really good. Why did you expect it to be crap? Because it was so cheap, 150 bucks. How can you expect that to fly? You can't go wrong with these guys. This is a great little quad. All right, what we, what we should do, uh, let's, let's set it with speed gun, Sally. How fast do you think that's gonna go? Miles per hour. I reckon this will hit 70. 70? What about you, Crash Test Cal? 85. All right, 85. Well, I'll go in the middle, I'll go 80. Closest one wins a pack of props. <laughs> All right, you ready, Cal? I'm ready. All right, Cal, I've got a bit of a present for you because I know you were concerned last week, but uh, what do you think of this bad boy? <laughs> Thanks. Put it on, yeah. put it on for the people. This is just gonna stop me from dying quickly, that's all. All right. All right, ready to rock and roll, Crash Test Cal, let's go do it. So you say, you said 85? Mm, yeah, I think probably 80 actually. No, I said, no, Cal. I, I, <laughs> ugly. 81. Okay, well, you know, all right, I'll go 85 then. Cal, we've come out here to a bit more open spot and what's happened? We don't have the quad. Yeah, we left it over there with Trevor. All right, hang on, I'm gonna run and get it. Trev, you get all my quad gear if Shuey kills me. He gets nothing, all right? It's all yours, buddy. All right, let's do this. I just got to remember, duck into it. Duck into it. Oh my God. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> All right, we're back. Trev says 75, what do you say? Mm, 80. All right, I'll go 85. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh. People at the end of the park, folks. Run, run away. Oh, go now. Oh. Sixty nine, seventy five, seventy five, seventy six, eighty one, eighty, eighty mile an hour. 
Alrighty, so there it is. There's my part two review of the Fury B X215. And I'm pretty sure after seeing that flight performance, I just stabbed myself in the face. I'm too excited. I'm pretty sure after that flight performance, you guys are going to agree that this is one of the best drones for the money that we have ever seen. So it's absolutely amazing just how much performance you're getting for the price. I mean, 150 bucks is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I am sure that this thing is going to sell out, or I will drop a coupon code down below too, so check the comments or the descriptions because I think the normal price might be like 170 or something, but uh, the price usually increases after we do these reviews. So I'm going to put a coupon code down below that might help that should hopefully lock this to 150 anyway. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say. What about versus the B-Fight or versus the Dark Max or the Copus? And you know what? I did fly all those on the same day when I was out there in the field. The Dark Max, this thing was still better than it. We have a Dark Max review, Fury B Dark Max review coming up as well. This thing was better than it. I much preferred this thing. It was faster than the B Fight, even though the B Fight was still a fantastic machine. And the Copus was like twice the price. So look, I'm absolutely blown away, in love with this quad. It was an absolute joy to fly, and it's where a hobby needs to go because it's fantastic performance. Like probably the best performance to price ratio I have ever seen. Now I do have to give a little bit of a shout out to the D Quad Obsession. I'm gonna link their frame down below as well because I think this one, you know, the frame actually is a copy of that frame. So go and check that out if you're interested in the original designers of this frame. But if you wanna pick this bad boy up for like 150 bucks, you're new to the hobby, you want something that can absolutely rip around, you can't really go wrong with this thing. Now I'm gonna leave some flight footage with the older props on the end. It definitely did make a difference, a performance difference when I put the cyclones on. Cyclones are my proper choice, so if, you know, it's not perfect, we, I do wish they had lock nuts on here, and I do wish they could come with a different set of props, but for the price, honestly, you can't complain. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, what do you think? Is this one of the best drones you've ever seen? I'd love to see your opinions. Stick them in the comments down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you think about it? Other than that, subscribe for more FPV-related content. You can tell how excited I am. And as always, happy flying. So as promised, here's that bonus footage. This is its very first made in a week earlier, and this is on the pink props, but this was absolutely ridiculous. Too windy to fly, and it's got to be pretty windy for me to pack it up, but I thought you guys might like to see it anyway. Happy flying! Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.